What's going on guys, Shadow Hollow here signing in bringing you another Destiny video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do two things. I'm going to be showing you how to do the Gallowhorn quest to get the Gallowhorn and Rise of Iron and I'm going to be showing you how to get Splicer Keys. Now the first thing that you want to do before you do any of that is you want to complete the storyline mission in the Rise of Iron and once you do that uh, you're going to get several missions and the first mission that you want to do is the one that requires you to scan the anomaly near the Archon. So the reason why you want to uh, complete these storylines first is because you unlock the control missions in the Plaguelands and that's what you're going to want to do. So go ahead and load up a patrol mission. Now once you get in there, the first thing that we're going to need in order to actually complete this quest is this Spicy Key. Now when you get down there, you're going to land in an area called the Lord's Watch. And when you get down there, you're going to want to look for a wizard called the Broad Mother. Now when you find her, unload on her, destroy her, and she's going to drop several things, one of them being a splicer key, and that is how you can get a splicer key. Um, there's actually several other ways that you can get splicer keys. I know one of them uh, dropped from enemies randomly. But now that we have our key, we're going to need to make our way to the area called the Archon's Keep. And if you don't know how to get there, just follow the video and I'll take you straight there. If you do know how to get there, you can just go ahead and skip ahead to the part until we get to the Archon's Keep. Now once we get to the Archon's Keep, we're going to need to patrol this area until we find the one that uh, requires us to scan the anomaly. Uh, just so you're not standing here uh, doing patrol missions all day, I'm going to show you exactly how the icon for the mission looks. And So take a look at this icon and only do the ones, the patrol missions that look like this icon. Just skip the other ones. If it's not there. Uh, just go to orbit and then just come back to this area and retry. So once we actually get the beacon that we're looking for, we're going to want to then go inside the building that is in the Archon's Keep and make our way down until we get to the Archon's Forge. Once we get there, just go straight ahead until we jump over the little dome shaped thing in the middle and there's going to be a hole in the wall. Just go straight in that hole and then we're going to want to go in work our way down all the way down until we get to an area called Site 6. It is here where things actually begin to get interesting. What you're going to want to do is take out all the enemies in the area and then you're gonna come to a door with a bunch of uh, traps around it that's guard that's blocking the door or blocking you from going inside the door and onto the left is actually going to be a scanner now this is where you use your splicer key at uh, just go ahead use the splicer key the traps will be removed and then you can actually go in and work your way down now once you work your way down be careful do not die in this area uh, because if you do, then you will respawn outside the door. Uh, and if you don't have any more spicy keys, you actually won't be able to, to get inside the door. And you will have to go and find yourself another spicy key. So be careful. Use caution. Um, what I did was I just picked them off one by one. And uh, if you want to do the same, then go ahead. So once you actually get inside, you're going to see a flame X. Now, you can use a flame X if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. But actually using it makes this section, the next section that you're about to go into, go much faster. Because once you walk in there, you're going to be met with a bunch of enemies plus a devil walker splicer or devil walkers, devil splicer walker or whatever you want to call that thing. Um, the flame axe actually does a lot of damage to that thing. So if you want to use it on that, just be careful. Go in and do the flame axe ultimate attack and then hurry up and get out of here because if you stay close to it, it's just going to blast you away and potentially kill you. So once you take care of the Splicer Devil Walker, you're going to then see the area that you need to scan. So go ahead and scan that area. 
Once you do that, it's going to give you a quest called Beauty and Destruction, which is going to prompt you to go to the Iron Tower and talk to Saladin. Now, after talking to the vendors in the Iron Tower, they are, they are then going to send you back out to the Plaguelands to collect the Iron Medallions. And these are actually pretty simple to find. All you need to do is go to the quest, and the quest will tell you which area areas you need to find the Iron Medallions. So, once you get back to the Plaguelands, basically you want to go to each one of these areas. And uh, what's going to happen is, when you get close to the medallion, an icon is going to pop up. It's going to look like this, and then you're going to basically want to pick it up and you're gonna want to go to each area and basically just scan the area until you can find it now this is pretty much self-explanatory but for the harder ones I actually do show you in this video where those are so just go ahead and follow the video After you have collected all the medallions, it is then going to prompt you to go back to the Iron Tower and talk to the vendors, who is then going to give you a mission to actually go to Bannerfall and complete some objectives there. After you have completed these objectives, it is then going to prompt you to go back to the Iron Tower and then the next part of the mission is going to begin, which is going to be collect 5 Dormont Siva clusters. And if you already did this, you don't have to worry, but if you have not done this, then stay tuned because I will be putting together a video of all the locations that I found the SIVA clusters and I will be providing a link down in the description. So keep a lookout for the link down in the description. So after you have actually collected all these clusters, you are then going to be prompted to go back to the tower and talk to the vendors. And then after that, the mission A Symbol of Honor will begin, which you will have to go down into Sky Shock and stop the Fallen from attacking the city. Uh, you will actually be given the Gallahorn. It's, it's probably pronounced Gallahorn, but I always called it the Gallahorn, so I'm going to continue to call it the Gallahorn. The Gallahorn will actually drop mid-mission and it will actually drop at 350 light level. So once you have it, you'll be all squared to go. And if you have the iron Gallahorn, it will actually unlock once you actually get the regular Gallahorn. So that will bring me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, then a like will be super supportive. Be sure to subscribe for more videos coming along the way. I'm Shadow Hollow, signing out, and I will see you guys later.